Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be changing out the hard drive on an HP laptop. But before I do that, I'd like to explain what is the background before I jump into the hard drive replacement. So the computer was getting a blue screen randomly. In the middle of using the computer, like checking the emails and whatnot, the computer would just blue screen with a set face on the top left corner. Okay, so the computer has went through what we call the factory reset, meaning that there is a settings and you can go to and click on reset this PC when you feel the computer is not doing in a healthy condition, right? So you can reset the computer either to keep the data or to remove the data completely. We have done the removing the data completely because sometimes it could be the virus that's causing the computer to froze or maybe blue screen. So we reset the computer back to factory settings without any data and the computer still behave the same thing. Meaning that the computer would just froze in the middle of using it, the cursor doesn't move, the mouse doesn't move, and the keyboard does not respond to any keys or what whatnot. And sometimes it would just blue screen. So the only way to uh, further the diagnose the problem is to change out the hard drive. If we change out the hard drive and um, fresh install the Windows 10 or Windows 11 back to the computer, if it still behaves the same problem, then more likely it could be something else like maybe the RAM or it could be the motherboard or the CPU and whatnot. So the first thing I would think it is, is the hard drive. All right, so let's jump right into it, changing out the hard drive and identify the model here. So if you take a closer look here, it should say HP NV X360 2 in 1 laptop 15 EY, sorry, EY0023DX. Okay, so that is the model. I'll be using a Torque T5. I think the screw is Torque T4, but I do not have the T4. So I'll be using a T5. Remove the screws. We need to remove and get to the back cover here. There are four screws holding down the back cover. The next step is to pry open the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool. I'm gonna to stick in between here. It's kind of hard to see, but once you get the opening, once you get the opening, you can use the uh, plastic prying tool to just run across the back cover because the plastic prying tool does not give like a, a scratch to the metal and the back cover is not easy to open. Uh, you kind of need to put a lot of pressure and to separate the back cover. Okay, there you go. Once you remove the back cover, the bottom left here is where the hard drive is. Using a regular Phillips screwdriver, a PH1, remove that screw. I'm gonna slide this one more screw out, remove the one extra screw, the two screws in total. And let's try to uh, remove the uh, the cover here and slide towards my body so slide it down that would be the uh, m.2 and looks like this is just a bracket a bracket holding down the uh, ssd drive here we have the 512 megabytes uh, m.2 ssd and I'll be replacing with this M.2 512, okay? At 45 degree angle, slide it in, push it all the way in, making sure that the bottom part here align with the screw, where you can put the screw after this have the bracket to go back on top of it. Okay. 
and so two of the screws and have the back cover go back in. What I like to do is to make sure it aligns at the bottom first. So making sure that the back cover slide it in at the very bottom and work my way around it to press it down and have the clipper to clip it all the way back in together. Okay, once it's all in, do not forget the screws, put the screws back. And the next step is I like to uh, point out to you about using the USB M.2 adapter, which it helps to recover the data if you have any data. But again, like I said, for my purpose, I already reset back to factory settings without the data and the computer is still acting up. Then, um, then there's no purpose for me to recover any of the data. So this is the USB adapter I'm referring to, which allows you to insert the M.2 drive, right? Have the rubber band kind of tied it down, holding the, uh, the M.2 drive <clears throat> and stick it into a new computer. I mean, not a new computer, but a different computer where the thing acts like a USB drive and you hopefully you can recover the data. Okay, but for my case, I just change out the uh, new hard drive and I'll be installing Windows, but not in this video, but this is pretty much just changing out the hard drive. And if you do have similar problem, what I explained where the computer blue screen or freezes um, in the middle of your work, make sure you back up the data and try to change out the hard drive and install the Windows. So this is the uh, Windows 10 USB installer. Um, you can actually make your own. You don't have to buy. When you buy, it comes with the license. And if you just um, go to Microsoft website, you can actually make your own Windows media creation tools. Okay, hopefully this is helpful. And if you do find the videos helpful, please comment down below. Let me know how, how did you do. And, um, and do not forget to click on YouTube Super Thanks if you want to share your gratitude and show your support and appreciation to the work I do and my channel. I really appreciate that. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye now.